Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist Jim Howard, and this is your latest WITN. First alert forecast on this Thursday, August 29th. Another roaster today. In fact, a, a smidge hotter than yesterday. Uh, just enough to get us in the heat advisory uh, status today at noon through 7. I'll show you that graphically in a sec. Uh, 96 on the thermometer. Wednesday under 10 out of the southwest. That muggy flow still locked in. So that heat index pushing 105, 106 this afternoon. There's your heat advisory graphic. Pretty much all real estate in eastern North Carolina. Noon to 7, uh, the heat index feels like temp. Uh, 101 to 106, a little lower right on the coast, a little higher inland this afternoon. Hot stuff. You can see the air temp, uh, the top number into those mid-90s with that heat index. Just to add about 10, when you're driving in your car and your uh, car thermometer says 94, when you step out of the car, add 10 to that. It'll feel like 104, uh, whatever you've got on that car thermometer, add 10. So 105 today, still over 100 Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 101, 102. Uh, we're not going to get out of the heat until next week, and we will next week see a nice drop in the numbers. Got some rain chances coming as well. Satellite radar this morning looks good. There's nothing out there. Uh, Mid-70s as you head out the door this morning. And again, those highs in the mid-90s. Uh, maybe a near 100 degree high back by I-95 and forecast 98 back here. Uh, to the beaches around 90 later this afternoon. And again, winds near 10, a little under that inland, a little over that on the coast. Light winds this morning. Could be some fog developing. Visibility, that was at 4.30 a.m., 10 miles. What's the fog cache? Showing fog trying to build in 7 to 8, 9 a.m. Uh, pretty widespread fog coverage and then quickly getting out of here at 9, 10, 11 o'clock. So maybe some fog to deal with 7, 8, 9 a.m. -ish as you head out, uh, primarily inland. All righty, the big map stretch it out. This front to the north uh, gets close but doesn't quite get in here. Watch now, here's today, no rain. Uh, just the heat out there. That front of Virginia kind of eases to the northern counties tomorrow. Close enough to get a few storms popping in here Friday afternoon. Some scattered storms pop up and then I think generally lift out as we get into Friday night. Saturday morning looks good, quiet. Saturday afternoon, some scattered storms in the heating air mass. Hit and miss Saturday afternoon evening time frame, about 40%. Uh, this front starts to approach Sunday. This will bring a better chance of rain Sunday night. There's Sunday morning, good. Midday, good. Uh, late Sunday, storms moving in into the overnight. Front moves through Monday morning slowly. So still dealing with rain on Monday the way it looks right now. Scattered showers and storms and less heat next week. Back to one area we're watching in the tropics. That little area by Bermuda is dissipated. Uh, this swath of development zone hanging on here uh, for a weak tropical wave down here. Still holding around 20%. Again, Francine, the next name on the list. Model's not showing much developing here. We'll watch for you as we head into the holiday weekend. Doing the beach today, 90 on the sand, 80 in the surf, low rip risk. One to two foot waves, check, check, check all the good boxes. Mostly sunny skies, winds at 10, low tide coming at 10 a.m. Eight day forecast, 96 blazing degrees today, feeling like 106. 40, 40, 40 rain chance Friday, Saturday, Sunday, generally p.m. And then Sunday night as that front comes through, rain chance comes up 60%. Uh, lingering showers and storms into Labor Day, 40%. And then going drier and cooler. Look at those highs near 80. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, lows dip towards the upper 50s.